So the idea behind the report was, I think we're all very interested in how do we measure outcomes for patients who are being treated for their cancer. And what we wanted to do is maybe break that down into manageable steps. Because I think we want to be able to understand cancer outcomes, but I think we also want to be able to understand that at scale. So if you want to understand that at scale, what we have to then figure out is how can we try and embed the measurement of these outcomes into everyday practice? And in fact, are there certain things that are more difficult to do today and certain things that are easier to do today? So the idea behind the report was to say, what are some of the metrics that we can routinely capture that nevertheless have clinical value both for the clinicians treating patients and for patients themselves? And we took two different lenses. Um, and then what we wanted to do is say, where could we therefore start? Are there things that we can do today which will allow us to start informing how patients are being treated and some of these pragmatic outcomes associated with their treatment? And then what would the next step look like? And then finally, what would comprehensive look like? And I think that's what we're all shooting towards. But what we wanted to do is create a step-by-step -step approach to doing that. So the key findings were, indeed, we can identify a set of metrics that we can collect from everyday routine clinical practice. And when we create metrics associated with those data, they do have clinical value for both the clinicians and for the patients who are being treated. So when we interviewed the 25 senior figures in oncology around Europe, there was a very high degree of agreement on what some of those metrics would be. There was also very high agreement on what would constitute the more complex uh, outcome measures or pragmatic measures where collectively some choices remain to be made, some investments remain to be made. And then finally, I think there was very strong agreement that indeed there is clinical value associated with very sophisticated but also complex and therefore quite expensive measures that we would like to, uh, to be able to capture routinely. And that needs to be a vision for a slightly longer term, three, five years hence, as opposed to something that we can do tomorrow.